You can bet your bottom dollar. Great programming coming up next on the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network. Stand by. Hold on. Talk at its finest, coming up next on the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network. In about two minutes, stand by. guys are talking about stand by a great show coming up next on the Stewart media and entertainment network in about 30 seconds stand by don't go away stop 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 If they're talking about it at the barbershop, we're talking about it here on SME. Great show coming up in about 30 seconds. Don't go away. Stand by. It's time. Sit back, relax, and enjoy another great product on the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network. Yeah! You're listening to Team Broadcasting. So, what are we going to do now? Just sit around and be bored? ChristopherTracyCollection.com For more information, log on to ChristopherTracyCollection.com What distinguishes him from my husband? In Havana, it was his aura. In Miami, his confidence. In Canada, his focus, his drive. In Moscow, it was his passion. In Denmark, his innocence. In India, it was his compassion. In Nigeria, he owned everyone he met. In Mexico, it was love for me. Now, though he is gone, I dress my husband in his collection to remind me as if he were still here with me. The Christopher Tracy collection still is clothing, fine jewelry, accessories, and art in fine boutiques. World right spring 2017. For more information, log into ChristopherTracyCollection.com. I'm CEO. Deep maker, the hit 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 maker, Don't lie, but people lie about numbers. 
Greetings. Welcome to another live edition of the Lonely Hearts Cafe. I'm one of your co-hosts, Christopher Tracy, and I am joined tonight as I am every week by the Honorable Deacon, Aloysius Forever Love. Aloysius, are you with us? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. How are things with you there in Grand Rapids, Michigan? It's a good thing because it's cooling down. Uh, any any happenings going on in the hood? Any happenings going on at work? Any happenings going on with the ladies? Was she expecting to see you? No, we just bumped into each other, you know. You bumped into and, each other. Yeah. Worst moment ever. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we, we had a little popping noise and then uh we had I'm gonna reset. The audience couldn't hear you, Honorable Deacon, but I'm gonna reset. I think everything should be good now. But um basically the Honorable Deacon saw a young lady one day and she was looking right. She was looking fine. But when he saw her the second time, she wasn't looking the same. So, Honorable Deacon, just recap a little bit and and tell us again. uh, Okay, so where did you see her the first time? The second time you said it was in a store. But where were you the first time? Um, The first time was just in the neighborhood when I was dropping off my daughter. And okay. uh, I assume she was dropping off one of her kids also to school. Okay, so she lives in your area? Uh, Kind of, yeah, kind of, yeah. Uh, hmm. Not to so, she still lives in the West yet, I don't get me wrong. What, was this someone that you thought maybe you would have... Uh... Pursue you know, a could, little bit further. Yeah. You could get within the future? Possibly, yeah. But after today, no. Because I see what I would have to wake up to. So mm-hmm. I can't always it out. You know, it's always something that someone does in the future that lets you know in the present that there can be no future. True. Somewhere down the line, there's going to be a breakup somewhere down the line but uh fortunately for you you didn't get to that point now so 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 was it her dress or was it her body do you think she had one of the fake booties what, what do you what do you what you no, that down? could be possible mm-hmm. that definitely could be possible because she was looking like a model about a week ago and now it's just like some lost woman on the street, man. I was like, this can't, it's not going to work out, you know? It's just not going to work out. I mean, I'll still be cordial, I'll speak, but I'm not going to have, like, the full-blown conversation anymore. Okay, was it, uh, hmm. It, it, and it was, did the hair have anything? What about her hair? Was her hair, hair was consistent? Fine. Her hair was nice, yeah. Okay, okay. Mm, mm, mm. She didn't have on the makeup, and so, you know, that was fine also. Unfortunately, and this is something I'm telling the ladies, unfortunately, you know, the hair is something that can be fixed, replaced, upgraded, you know, improved upon. But if it's, uh, you know, the structure, that's a deal breaker. Yeah, she was gonna have to exercise for like twenty years straight to get that together, yeah. man. Yeah, and I'm not in the best shape myself, but that was the point that I was gonna get to. You know, that's a lot of time that someone would have to put in to to get into shape or to to get to where they need to be, where they want to be. 
It's a lot of time. Let's take a moment to recognize the chat room. Those of those who join us in chat, Ronnie from Sheboygan. Ronnie from Sheboygan has joined us. Thank you, Ronnie. The sports governor from Minnesota, Vince Wright, is with us, member of X Squad, X Squad affiliate. He has a show, the uh, Sports and More show that he does with Reggie, Dollars and Cents. And then he also um, has his own show that he does. So follow Vince Wright and you'll be kept up to date with all of his shows. We also have Yolanda Hendricks, a.k.a. Southern Bell. Southern Bell, you all remember Southern Bell from last week. Um, and then we also have our, another second time listener, and that is the great J.P. Zamet. J.P. Zamet is joining us from Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. And Honorable Deacon, this is our first listener from Canada. Cool. Great so, job. Yeah. Yeah. So he's, he's we're certainly pleased to have him. So the Sports and More show is the show that uh, Vince Wright does with Reggie. And then he also has his show that's called Sports Done Right. Sports Done Right. So definitely follow the Gov and check out his shows. Okay. So. And we also have Vanessa. Vanessa Strong is joining us from Selma, Alabama. Vanessa, thank you for joining us. We have Hi. Spicy. Oh, Spicy. Vanessa's on the line? Yes. Well, well, well. Honorable <laughs> Deacon, say hello to Vanessa. So sexy. How are you? Hi. Hello, Aloysius. How are you? I am blessed, baby. Blessed. See, okay. <laughs> Y'all are popping. The voices are popping. So y'all are all up into the microphones. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's see who else we got. Recognize the chat. We've got Spicy, host of Spicy Conversations. Spicy is in the chat room as well. So we certainly thank you all for joining us. So for those of you who are joining us for the first time listening around the world, you have tuned into the Lonely Hearts Cafe. The Lonely Hearts Cafe is your relationship advice show. So what we do is um, throughout the week we get uh, topics or questions posed to the Honorable Deacon most of the time, sometimes myself, but it's the Honorable Deacon show. And uh, he gives his advice. So we certainly welcome anyone who's listening to uh, send us your information, send us your topics, and we will take a swing at it and give you a male's perspective. And we have Vanessa on the line tonight, so a female's perspective indeed on some of the topics that are there. And we have some great ones tonight. Okay. So, JP, start typing. Start typing, JP. And we also have Kesey, the host of the Kicking It with Kesey show, who has joined the chat. Kesey is out of ATL as well. And Kicking It with Kesey show, the Kicking It with Kesey show comes on Saturdays on Spreaker. So follow Kesey and join and follow and enjoy his show as well. He does a lot of topics, a lot of current event topics. And then he also jams sometimes and plays a lot of music, a lot of hip hop angle as well. Very knowledgeable. So thank you, Kesey, for joining us. So. Honorable Deacon? Mm-hmm. Vanessa? Yes. Topic number one. Are you guys ready? Yes. Mm-hmm. This one comes from Yanni. We'll have a lot tonight from Yanni out of Gary, Indiana, because uh, we didn't get to all of hers last week. So Yanni's question is, if you go on a first date with someone that has flown out to see you, should you pay for 